Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app demo for Mathlands by Mama Niho. This application is in the games category, works on the iPad or iPad 2, currently sells for $1.99. This is an interactive math reasoning game for people of all ages, 7 to 77, that teach crucial math concepts through the 30 plus intense thinking puzzle games. Here's the opening screen, play about and help. We're going to go into play and you can see the different math games sprinkled about the bottom of the screen. Let's go ahead and tap on play. The two main game modes are going into the game, the level game, by starting a new game or playing in free mode. I will start in the new game mode first and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Now this is the Tower of Hanoi and this is the first game mode you are exposed to. If you don't know how to play this game, it says move the tower to peg C. Tap on the instructions down here on the bottom right side. You can also access the main menu there or turn off the sound. Move the stack of three rings to peg C. As you will see a larger ring cannot rest on top of a smaller ring. Do it in eight moves. Alright, challenge is to do this in eight moves. Alright, we get the air horn and we get congratulations. It says you did it in seven moves. That is the best possible result. Now we can continue the game and it can get or it gets harder. Now you have four rings to move to peg C and again you can tap on the instructions and you can tell we're on level two. Again, 30 plus levels in this game. Tap on the main menu and you can see we're currently at level one out of 32. That is how you play the game or the level mode. Now we're going to tap on free play which exposes us to all of the different games in this application. Tap on one of my favorites which are the math comic strips. These are very cool. They have some humor in them and they make learning word problems actually enjoyable. Let's go ahead and go through the first one here. It says read the comic strip and answer the question at the bottom. It's a toucan's going to make an apple pie and you go through here. A young boy says, hey, can I have some apples? The toucan is very generous. He says, take what you want. And then the girl comes up and she's like, can I have some apples? And he's like, sure. And she's like, well, how many did he take? And he's like, well, let me see. He took exactly half of what I had. This is where the word problem starts. And again, how many will you take? And she says, exactly half of what was left. He's got two left. Now he asks you the question the same question which is here and this is where you're going to put in your answer. You have these movable apples to help you count. So we know he has two left. She took half of what was left so that's four. He took or the kid originally took half of what he had overall. That would make eight apples. I'm going to go with that and we're going to put eight in there. Submit. We get the air horn and we can go to the next level tap on here and we're going to get another comic strip word problem. Again, a rather enjoyable way to learn word problems. You can scroll through here. You also have the ability to use the items to help you to count. In this case, we have full soda bottles and empty soda bottles and that's how this word problem rolls. This kid ate or drank too much soda and so on. So you have to get the right answer here, which is how many bottles did the boy by. But we're going to go ahead and exit out of here and look at some of the other games. One of my other favorite games is the frog game. Move orange frogs right and green frogs left. Again, you can tap on the instructions here. Move all the fr orange frogs to the right and the green frogs to the left side. Careful not to get stuck. The frogs cannot leap over more than one frog at a time. Alright, so you have to do this correctly and I got stuck again. I have played this offline and it gets a little bit difficult to say the least. And you have to use your frog jumping abilities to solve the puzzle. It gets a little confusing, but again, these games are all made to have you use your logic and reasoning to figure out the solutions, not just pressing buttons to blow things up in some of the other math games out there. Tap on the X out of there. We can go back to the main menu. We can look at the ravine, which is another one of my favorite games. Again, here you have to figure out how to get the kids across the ravine using the time that you have. Again, tap on the instructions if you're not clear, but I'll basically explain it to you. The number over the child's head is how much 
time it's going to take them to get over. So you match the child up with the parachute, the wind carries them over, and then you have to get the last boy over there. So you're going to carry the girl back, she takes both of the parachutes, and then you take them both back, and you successfully get them over, hopefully in the right time. Yes, we did. Again, go to the next level and they ramp it up with more children and they give you a little bit more time, but you still have to use your logic. And again, this is only the second of 30 plus levels of gameplay for each of the different games. This is a great way to learn math, and that's Math Lands. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.